Okay, so now we're going to evaluate logarithms. And you know, we had you go from logs to exponents and exponents back to logs. And I think most of us are more comfortable doing the math as an exponent. So we'll convert these logs to an exponent and then you know just do the math to figure out the answer. So this is the base four. Uh, we don't know what the exponent is because again, these are written like this. E equals x equals x for all of these. I'm not going to write all those, but you get the gist. And so the four to what power equals 64? Well, four squared is 16, but four times four times four is 64. So that's three of them. So x equals three. Next one. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do all these, I guess. So base five to what power equals 0 0.2. Now, this is decimal. Uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, can also be written as one-fifth. So uh, let me just write that for you here, and that should make it a lot easier to see as well. One over five. So what exponent to five brings that five down to the denominator? Well, of course, it has to be a negative. And, and it's, you know, the five is just being a five, so x will here will be negative one. So again, if you're struggling yet, 5 to the negative 1 power equals 1 over 5. Okay? All right, so more fractions here. My base is, let me erase this and give myself some room. So 1 fifth is my base. To what power equals 125? Well, you know, 5 squared is 25, but you should know now from our experience, <clears throat> 5 to the third power. 5 to the third power is 125. Only problem is this 5 down denominator. I need to bring it up. So I'll, I'll apply a negative to it. So x then will be a negative 3. And the last one, 36 to what power equals 6? Well, I need the square root of 36, don't I? And I, again, <clears throat> back to the time when we got out of school, uh, square roots written as a half. So x is going to equal 1 half. All right, so let's see what we got here to work on for evaluations. Yeah, there's plenty here for evaluating here. Uh, 8 through 19. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else I should do with these. Let me try one more here for you to help you out. <clears throat> um, for instance, look at number 12. You know, 9 to what power equals 1? Got anything to the 0 powers of 1, so x equals 0. Try one with a fraction here for you. One half um, to what power equals eight? Well, we know two to the third power will get me that eight, right? But it's downstairs. I've got to bring it up. So I'm going to make x equal negative three. Uh, one more with a fraction for you. Um, so this is base three to what power equals one over 27? Again, hopefully from our past work, 3 to the third power gets you 27, but now we have to get it down to the denominator. So instead of it being x equals 3, x should be a negative 3 to drive it down. Okay, so yeah, those for homework. And also on the homework page here, we're going to give you some of these to evaluate, 7 through 12. Okay, and on the B side as well, uh, looks like 7 through 12 again. All right, folks, have fun.